We have Chad Butter and Bunner and Scott Richel. Did I get that right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And we have Good them. Part. They're from Newman Brothers. You guys are the ones working on the Capitol Dome. Yes, sir. Okay, what are you guys doing? Well, we're uh, up uh, back at the Capitol. We've done a lot of work over the years, 20 years, back in the 80s and 90s. And uh, there's been a lot of moisture coming in through the top of the lantern at the top of the dome above the gilding. And uh, a lot of the bricks are defacing. And uh, we're, we're scaffolding the outside and the inside and re, re, repainting high-performance coatings on the, on the steel and replace, replacing about 12,000 bricks inside the inner dome. Uh, and tuck pointing, refacing a lot of the old sandstones, and uh, really just uh, kind of bringing some glory back to the to the old building. So, is it difficult? Do you have a lot of uh, different things that you have to abide by to keep it historically like the same? We have to use a brick that was originally uh, founded for the building, and then a right. special uh, thin set that they're setting the brick with, and all the wood has to match the existing wood that sure. they used, the old mahogany, all the trims have to match. It, there's real gold on our capital. There correct? is, yep. Is it just, how much is it? I can't remember. It's 24 karat gold. 24 karat yeah, gold, yeah, but yeah. is it like a, like a tenth of an inch or something? Like, how much is it? One quarter of a millionth of an inch thick. <laughs> One. Well, okay, one quarter of a millionth of an inch. Is that what you just said? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what, what is the entire dome itself constructed of, though? Well, the, the dome is, is framed with structural steel S shapes, kind of like a, like a railroad rail. Uh -huh. And they're, they're rolled into pies. There's 12 pies around the dome. You can count the roundel windows. There's 12 of those windows, and they'll center in, uh, in a pie shape. And then they're infilled with uh, brick pavers uh, that create the, the frame of the dome. And then it's sheeted with uh, copper, uh, just plain plain copper that's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, and then the gilding is on top of that. So you know everybody sees the gilding and the and the and the, sh and the sheet metal, but you don't necessarily maybe know what's what's inside and what's holding it up. But there's a, a lot of mass up there for sure. Yeah, no kidding. But the inner scaffold is is probably the most interesting thing because it starts at about three feet wide and goes up above the cloud inside the, the GAR, way oh, up really? high in the dome. And they just completed that yesterday. Um, and then we'll have a rolling tower on that on that dance floor to get up to the compression ring up, up above below the lantern and start replacing the bricks that are that are defaced. Because you, you forget how much space is above that cloud you know, painting because you look at the look at the bottom, looking up inside the dome, you can see that cloud and that the cloud painting, and then the uh, flag hanging underneath that. And a lot of people forget there's a lot of space above that as well. You, is that what you call the dance floor? Yeah, this is a temporary dance floor, the the scaffolding. And actually, after the bricks are replaced, we're going to put in a permanent uh, aluminum uh, and fiberglass grading platform that'll stay there. So in 20 years or 30 years, it won't be as big a deal to get up there oh, and really do okay, some yeah. preventative maintenance. On the, on the dome, so really a, a once in a lifetime project for, for Scott and I. How many total bricks are in the entire Capitol building? There are uh, 14 million bricks constructing the Capitol. And you're re replacing 12,000? <laughs> yes. Who counted those? Like, how do you know that? <laughs> I mean, seriously. A lot of arithmetic. <laughs> were, you guys, were you guys just putting in new windows? Is that the project you were doing? Was that the inch glass? The windows have all been pulled out and reworked, uh -huh. reworked the, the wood sash and then. Uh, put the one inch glass back in, recoat the windows with a fresh cone of paint, and then reinstall. But working inside the inner dome up above the cloud, I mean, that is the biggest challenge. I, I, I Now that the dance floor is up, I'm not getting very much sleep at night until that comes back down. I think Scott would attest to that as well. But uh, that's probably the biggest change. It's not a, not an easy place to get up to, and, but once you get up there, I mean, you kind of take your lunch with you, and, and the guys and gals eat eat where their where their work is. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming by, Chad Bunner and Scott Rachel Rachel. Scott, Rich. right. Thank Rachel. you Rachel. so Rachel. Come on. much. Hit me in the head, Scott. No, let's hit me in the head there. <laughs> with okay. Newman Brothers Construction who are working on the beautiful Capitol Dome. And I'm Justin Brady in with Adrian Branstead. We are here today for Vets on News Radio 1040 WHO.